All right, Good. ladies and gentlemen, we are here for another episode of Rogue Actions. Heinze is here Monday morning, bright and early. How you doing today, Heinze? Good morning. Good morning, Cubs. Good morning, everyone out there. Uh, good morning, Cubs fam. Great to be back again. Another week, another big mm. packed week coming up. We, we got Mando coming up this week. Mandalorian uh, this week. We're we're Season gonna have Mandalorian two. to talk about. Next week's episode of Rogue Actions. I'm hoping it's not mm. just a Mandalorian episode, Heinze. I'm hoping it's a little bit of a content update, new characters, events, and stuff. Yes. We need the characters aren't content. Bring Let me be clear, but you know what I mean. Polygons, baby. We want the polygons. You know that. Polygons? We talked about that. Yeah, I want Baby yeah, want Yoda. I want Baby Yoda <laughs> with all of the polygons. Okay. Oh, yes. All yes, of the absolutely. Polygons. Speaking Show of the content. Show me the magic thing. Show yeah. me the magic yeah, the, thing. <laughs> you know that's going to be part of it. Anyway. Um, all right. Let's get into this. We got the meme of the week here. Speaking of content, this is me stopping by the sub after quitting five months ago to see if the promised ocean of content has improved the game. <laughs> He's standing like, there in the what, pool. What? Like, Where? Like, what? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I love Pulp Fiction. That's one of my favorite movies. Oh, I yeah. love that movie. It is Very quality. Good. It's like, yeah, yeah, what? And the yeah, memes, man. Right. It's the, the, we didn't even realize when Pulp Fiction first came out how many memes we would enjoy oh. from Pulp Fiction in the later uh, 2010s and 2020s. <laughs> I know. It's one of my favorites. I love that movie. It's a win. But no, so, it's a great meme, man. I we like got it. happy news. I like this trend. We'll see if next week we're talking about Mobile Gamer. I wouldn't hang your hat on it. <laughs> but last week we talked about uh, Urzatron coming back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. This week, wouldn't you know it, but Warrior posted a Galaxy of Heroes video. I was shocked by this. And it looks like he is, in his video, in fairness, he did say he was thinking about coming back, but he cited a lot of improvements to the game that have made a big influence on his opinion of whether or not he should consider coming back to the game or not. Mm -hmm. um, Heinze, I view this as very, very good for the game. I was really happy mm -hmm. about this. I actually dropped a comment on this video. I said a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> yeah, and oh, absolutely. I just, I revealed myself. I liked my own comment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Accountability time. Oh man, that's a that's a head wobble right there. That's what we call it in Australia. That's a real head wobble. So check that out. Everybody. I'm liking my I'm liking my own people. That's how that's how we go these days. Yeah, I I, I do like my comments here and there, uh, here and there. Um, anyway, uh, so what what are your thoughts on this? I mean, you weren't when Warrior quit. Uh, were you had started your channel by then, but you weren't really. I guess gaining yeah, traction yeah. yet, were you? Oh, look, I was only just a a very, very small fish in a massive pond back a then. A wee Absolutely. little lass? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's been some time before yeah. the dark times. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 kidding. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's great to have him back. It's it's amazing. You're right. We talked about Urs last week, and that was yeah. fantastic. I mean, that's just been great. Um, and yeah, Worry coming back as well. Well... We've all watched his videos. I mean, I'm, I'm, I still, I'm still thrilled doing this now. You know that, Cubs, because a lot of these guys coming back now are the guys yeah. that when I was just playing my account, just sitting on the couch or in the bathroom. Come on, we all do it. We all do it. You know it, right? No, this is uh, a poop we, game. All... They, they, when well, they design this game, what's his name? Andrew Wilson is that his name? The EA CEO. You know, you know, he mm -hmm. went and looked at those guys. He said, "All right, we need a good poop game." Yep, we need and, and that's how Galaxy of Heroes was born. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. We need something to muck around with on the can. There we go. But the good thing is, apparently, uh, my toilet water spins a different way. If you've ever heard about that, apparently it does. But I never look because I, I never look afterwards. Anyway, that's a whole different story. Let's not go there, cups. Uh, but uh, it's it's certainly something that. We, we've watched these guys' videos yeah. growing our roster over time. Um, the pillar system is magnificent. I mean, you know, that's, yes. that's the cornerstone of many a good account that, that has still helps so many people today. Uh, yeah. So, again, we talked about this last week. The more people covering this game, the more people putting content out about this game that we love and adore, well, that just breathes new life into the community. And that's what we all want. We want to be passionate about our game. The more people doing it. How's that a bad thing? It's uh, I sound like a broken record. We said that last week. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. And I think Warrior in particular, I mean, I, I want as many people covering this game as possible. And I love, I personally, if you guys haven't noticed on my channel, I love finding new creators and trying to give them a little bit of a spotlight because I want more people to 
be covering this game successfully because I think it's good for the game. It's good for everybody. It makes the game more fun and everybody benefits from it. Uh, Warrior in particular, though, it's a bit elevated for me because he is one of the original figureheads of this game. I mean, he was already mm. very well established as a main central creator for this game uh, before I even uploaded my first YouTube video. He's one of the first people I watched. I watched his Pillar System videos. I watched several of his legendary unlock videos, some of his live streams, etc. I've mm. met the guy in person. I think he's fantastic. Um, we've had we've had Twitter scuffles here and there, but, you know, who hasn't? Um, Man, it's called Twitter. It, it's it's called Twitter, reason. right? Um, yeah. and I, I think something I also want to call it with Warrior in particular is with this, this one especially, I feel like is purely a game driven move for warrior mm -hmm. and i'd love to i'd love to hear warrior back me up on this this is my perception i could be wrong uh but it's easy for i think for someone to look at it and be like oh you know warrior he's just coming back cuz he's not making money doing what he was doing on his youtube channel look guys Warrior's YouTube channel clearly took a back seat for him. He wasn't uploading yeah. as much. He was still doing it. It was a passion project. But from what I understand of Warrior, he's got a great job. Warrior's doing fine. He's not coming mm. back because he wants to make millions of dollars. He's coming back because he saw things in the game itself that he liked. Yeah. It's not Correct. like a business move, so to speak. It is a yeah. fun player passion enjoyment move. And that's why it makes me excited because I, I just I love to see him coming back for those reasons. And I think that the community um, should pay attention to that because it's it's just good to see the, the whole crew getting back together. So, yeah, um, yeah. would you agree? Oh, I totally agree. I, I also think that there's probably an element as well. And again, I expect he's probably coming back to uh, play the game with his friends again. Mm. Uh, and, and again, I think that that's he talked something about that's that underrated. in his video. Yep. Yeah, um, and and I think that that's incredible. I really do. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing because uh, we we a lot of us continue to play this game through again the dark times yep. uh, when things aren't going your way. The community and your <laughs> friends and your guildmates have kept you in and around and, and kept you active. And a lot of people play this game just for the people in it. Yeah. So uh, again, I'm sure that that's a massive factor too because who wouldn't want to play with their mates as we say down here in Australia? You know? Yeah. Yeah, friendships are huge in this game. Absolutely huge Massive. in this game. It, it's what keeps people coming back. And I think if I were, I, I've always thought about if I were to leave Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, what would that be like? What would change in my day-to-day -day life? And honestly, because there's really not that much content, I, you know, I just play Marvel Strike Force when I went to the bathroom, like you said. <laughs> and there's yeah. a lot more to do in that game anyway. I don't think like plates, I don't think I would miss the game nearly as much as mm. I would miss the gap that the community would leave. Yeah. Uh, not, and I'm, yeah. I, I'm sure I'd stay in touch with people, but it would just feel different uh, once I left same. the game. It and wouldn't so, be the Yeah, same. it wouldn't be the same. So yeah. anyway, uh, Warrior, we're glad to have you back. If you're watching this, uh, be sure to drop a comment down below. We'll pin it. And uh, we'd love to have you. Maybe as a, as a special guest on Rogue Action at some point, let us know if yeah. you want to come. Uh, shoot the breeze with us. So, all right. Um, now, last topic before we move on to your video, Heinze. I did mm -hmm. release a top 10 squads video yesterday. And yes. uh, as part of that, we ranked the top four Galactic Legends squads as they relate in the whole game. I wanted to put that that portion of the list up again. I, wa I actually wanted to get your thoughts on this list in particular. So here's the top sure. four. Um, I did, And I've got some, uh, there's obviously some flexible uh, theory crafting that comes along with these uh, characters. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Ray is just like a total wide open book. Uh, Palpatine, yep. that last spot I feel like is is flex. Uh, some people put Vader there. Some people are putting, um, you know, uh, other uh, Sith Trooper there. Um, uh, yep. Jedi Master Luke, I feel like, um, you know, some people are putting gas there. A lot of people are putting gas there. Some people put uh, some. Any anyway, you guys get the idea. Uh, but we're we're going yep. Kylo first place, Luke in second place, actually. And, yep. and I talked about that in my video. But a lot of that has to do with Luke just really only has one weakness in, mm -hmm. in this game. And that one weakness is Sith Eternal. And Sith Eternal isn't that prominent right now. And so I really feel like Luke is the number two uh, best squad in the game. Uh, Sith Eternal in, in that third spot and Rey in the fourth spot. Almost in the third spot for Rey, though. A big reason why I almost had her in the third spot is because she is, in my opinion, the best defensive uh, galactic legend in Grand yes. Arena. So, yeah. uh, how do you, how do you feel about this ranking? Would you adjust anything? Um, anything to add? 
Not really, man. I mean, look, Kylo, he's just the massive damage dealer that we knew he would be. Yeah. Um, again, you know, I've I've gone up. I've just unlocked Palp. I've finally put the ultimate mats on Palp. He's got the ultimate ability on on mine as well. Oh, uh, man. But, but it, it's finally good to get that done. Working on Luke's now, his ability mats uh, over the next week or 10 days, whatever it is. But, uh, yeah, no, Kylo is certainly still an outstanding damage dealer. He certainly tops the list. That makes perfect sense. Um, man, uh, Luke's force push. That's some beautiful stuff to see. It really is. Oh, His yeah. transformation's great. Especially after uh, the, I'll... especially after the ultimate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just incredible. Yeah. I love it. The cinematics are great. They got the polygons out for us. That's oh, what the we polygons want. Were that all sort on of point. stuff is beautiful. Uh, so no, look, I think, yeah, number two, um, you know, when you chuck gas into that lineup, which is, you know, the common one that I've been up against, yeah. uh, it's a pretty, pretty tough squad to go up against. It yeah. really is. Uh, yeah. I'm having fun with Palps. I like him. Uh, again, when he transforms, I still think there's something missing in his lineup. I, I really do with Palps over time, and we'll talk about that obviously in in my video afterwards. I do believe I think Palps got a missing link there. Uh, there there's something I reckon coming at some point that'll buff him up that little bit more. Is I that think, a kit joke? Uh, a missing link? No, 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 it's not. Actually, it was no pun intended. No pun intended at all. I'm not that clever, Cubs. You know that. I'm not smart enough to do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I still think that there's certainly a missing piece to that puzzle uh, for Pelps, I believe. And, and yeah, That's look, something Ray... that I mentioned in the in the ranking video as well that I think is worth noting. Not just that there's a... It feels like there's a missing piece, but it feels like both Luke and Palpatine are carving out other squads. And that's something mm. that the other GLs didn't do as much. I, I, you, you really... No. Uh, not very many people were using, at least not prominent squads. Like people weren't using first order very much. They weren't using their resistance very much in, in meaningful locations. And then Kylo and Ray made both of them uh, meta with, uh, mm. with Luke, you know, to get the best Luke team, you're going to want to use Jedi Revan. You're going to want to use gas in a lot of situations. Um, Jedi Luke and Hermit Yoda, fine, but uh, gas and, uh, and Jedi Revan, especially uh, cause some pain, right? Uh, when you're, yeah. when you're carving things out. For Grand Arena yeah. and then Palp, I mean, geez, Darth Revan, Malak Basila is is what a lot of people are running uh, him with, and that's yep. that's your whole Darth Revan team gone, and so it's it's just interesting yeah. um, that, that they've decided to go that route with this, and it does make me wonder. And we'll talk about this in your video if there could be other characters coming to help uh, buff them up. Yeah, I think so. Look, I believe there is, but yeah, we'll come back to that later on. But yeah, obviously, it, it makes sense. Uh, you know, Ray, she, she's great on defense. Uh, you chuck her on defense. That's just what you do. Uh, you, you can use her in offense if you want to hang on to both of them, especially yeah. if you've got, you know, Luke or Pelps, you want to chuck them in in their place. I mean, she's just, she still takes Kylo out. You've got to get the turns right, though. Uh, right. It's a little bit more, you've just got to get the turn meter right, the speed right, and the mods right. Uh, so a little bit more of an effort, a damn but she can do it. One. But, but Ray on, Ray, Ray's AI in a defensive mindset, it's it's pretty solid. It well, really the thing is. is, is when you go against her, um, with the exception of Luke with his ultimate, I think you can manage to go against Ray with Luke ultimate and get decently high banners. When you're going yeah. to, with her against Kylo, the win is not in question, but the banners mm. are going to suck. Almost yeah. every he'll, single he'll match he'll I people. ever see with uh, Kylo facing Ray, Kylo always wins, and he wins by himself. He loses yeah, all four of his people. squad mates. Yeah. Yep, so that's a low right. banner. You lose everyone. So that's yeah, that's a that's a defensive on. win. Like even though even though it shows a, a win for you, um, yep. it, it, you know it's a win for the defense because it, they stripped yeah. twenty yeah. banners. I, I lost by four banners in my last battle. Ray was on defense. I had to take out a Ray, and I lost banners because of it. Enough mm. said. You know. Yep. Makes a there difference. Certainly does. There you go. All right. Uh, tell me how you guys feel about this down in the comments below. And if you haven't seen my ranking video yet, go ahead and check that out. Uh, but you also got another video to go check out. Go scroll down, hit that like <laughs> button, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And then in the description, there's a link to Heinze's video, which is actually mm -hmm. just this video continuing. You guys don't want to end this video halfway. Don't be that guy. Click on the link. Go to the second half of Rogue Actions and like that video. Let's get out of here, Heinze. Thanks for coming, man. Love you. Come down under. Come and join us on the next one, guys. We're Come not done down yet. See under. you next week. Down under Bye. the description. Click on it. Go. Go now.